I'm Dr. Bob McGrew from Cornerstone Family Medical Group in Modesto. This video segment on the MMR vaccine preventing mumps is part of a series of three videos dealing with MMR. MMR stands for three distinct infectious diseases, measles, mumps, and rubella. We made a video to deal with each of these infections so that you can know why immunizing young children against these viral germs is a good idea. This video is intended to supply general information. For specific decisions about your health, you should always talk with your personal doctor. Mumps is a painful infectious disease caused by the mumps virus. It is transmitted much like common cold and flu germs through things like coughing near other people, kissing or sharing food and drink, or touching things that infected people have already touched. The virus enters the body uh, through the nose or mouth and starts to cause disease about two or three weeks later. First, the virus causes muscle aching, tiredness, headache, and low-grade fever. For about half of people, that's all that happens. But the other half of people can feel really miserable. The parotid salivary gland other salivary glands below the jaw and lymph glands near them can become inflamed. As these photos show, these glands can become quite large. They're also tender, hot, and very painful. This is not an infectious disease that you or your loved ones want to risk getting. There is no specific treatment for mumps. The symptoms tend to decrease after a week or so, an even more compelling reason for making sure that your loved ones are protected against mumps are the complications of this disease. Symptomatic meningitis or inflammation around the lining of the brain occurs in up to 15% of patients. This causes headache and stiff neck. Adults are at higher risk than kids for this complication. Associated with this is the risk for permanent deafness, which occurs in one out of 20,000 mumps cases. Another feared complication of mumps is orchitis, which is inflammation of the testicles. This occurs in as many as 50% of infected males who get the mumps after 12 years old. It is very painful and often causes shrinking of the affected testicle. Other complications of mumps infection are inflammation of the ovaries in 5% of post-12 year old women and inflammation of the pancreas. Pancreatic damage from mumps may contribute to the affected person later developing diabetes. A small number of deaths occurred each year in the years before mumps vaccine was available. Mumps was very common prior to the vaccine. For instance, during World War I, only influenza and gonorrhea were more common causes of hospitalizations among soldiers. Before the vaccine came out, it was one of the most common causes of viral meningitis and deafness during childhood. About 200,000 cases occurred each year before effective vaccines came into widespread use. So it was good news indeed when the current vaccine was introduced around 1970. Cases of mumps plummeted to well less than 20,000 per year by 1980. That saved many thousands of people, mostly school-age kids, from getting the painful mumps disease and the risks of its complications. The current mumps vaccine is similar to the measles, rubella, and chickenpox vaccines in that it uses a live virus strain that has been attenuated. This means that the vaccine causes an infection that usually causes no symptoms at all but occasionally causes mild symptoms. The vaccine strain is not passed on to anyone else that the child comes into contact with. The mumps vaccine is part of a regular childhood vaccination schedule. It is combined together with the measles and the rubella vaccines in the MMR vaccine, which is usually injected in the child's thigh. It can also be given in the arm. It is recommended to be given twice at ages 12 to 15 months and again at age four years before kindergarten. The vaccine works well with about 90% of people attaining long-term protection against the mumps virus. 
There are some people who shouldn't get the MMR vaccine, such as pregnant women, people whose immune system is not working well, people who recently had a transfusion of blood products, or people who have had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its components in the past. If a person is acutely ill with a fever, it would be best to wait a couple of weeks until the person is well, since the immunization may work better then. MMR vaccine is considered very safe. As is the case with any medicine, adverse reactions can occur to the MMR vaccine. Adverse reactions usually happen only the first time the person receives the vaccine. Fever is the most common adverse reaction. It occurs in 5 to 15 percent of people receiving the first dose of vaccine, can be up to 103 degrees, lasts one or two days, and occurs 7 to 12 days after vaccination. Brief rashes may occur in up to 5 percent of people after the first vaccine dose. Rarely, MMR vaccine may cause a low platelet count. This only occurs once in every 30 to 40,000 initial doses of vaccine. Adult women who receive the vaccine for the first time may have a chance of joint aching called arthralgias. Severe allergic reactions to the MMR vaccine are extremely rare. You can review more information about the mumps vaccine at cdc.gov slash vaccine slash mumps. I derive much of the information for this talk from the Pink Book article on vaccines at the CDC website. The mission of the CDC, the Center for Disease Control in Atlanta, is to save lives and protect people. Another website with excellent information is that of the Immunization Action Coalition at vaccineinformation.org. In summary, mumps is an infectious disease that can cause painful swelling of the salivary glands, as well as such complications as meningitis and testicular inflammation. It was very common up until 1970, but fortunately is rare now because the vaccine works so well. However, mumps is still common in other parts of the world and is periodically brought back into the U.S. by travelers. This can cause epidemics affecting thousands of people, mostly kids. The last epidemic happened in 2006 when 6,000 Americans were infected with mumps. I hope that you will protect yourself and your loved ones with the MMR vaccine. Mm -hmm.